In our previous lesson, we discussed in details about the location and structure of northern mountains. As we know, the northern mountains are located in the northern part of India and it forms the natural part of the country. Now, these northern mountains is not just a single range but a chain of several ranges that run parallel to each other. The northernmost range is the Karakuram range which consists of large glaciers. To the south of the Karakuram range lies the Himalayas which can be further divided into Himadri, Himachal and Shivalik. Now the Himalayas as we know is gigantic and vast and it also extends to the northeastern part of our country where it is known as the Purvachal hills. Now, in today's lesson, we shall discuss about the importance of northern mountains. Well, if you take a tour of the northern mountains, particularly of the Himalayas, you shall find that the Himalayas are characterized by high peaks, steep slopes, deep gorges and numerous glaciers. Now, peak refers to the summit which is usually conical in shape. The slopes refer to the edges of a mountain. In case of the Himalayas, these slopes are very steep or almost vertical. A gorge refers to a narrow valley with steep rocky walls. The gorges are formed when a glacier curves out the surface of the earth. Now, a glacier refers to moving sheets of ice and they are commonly found in a hilly region like the Himalayas and they also help in defining the topography of the Himalayan range. Also, these glaciers present in the Himalayan region melt with the onset of summer season and give rise or birth to many perennial rivers. One such glacier is the Gangotri Glacier which is the largest glacier of the Himalayan region. This glacier melts to give birth to river Ganges or the Ganga River. So Gangotri is the source of Ganga River. Another important glacier of the Himalayan region is the Yamunotri Glacier which melts and gives birth to Yamuna River. Thus, we find that the Himalayan region is the home to many large glaciers which are the sources of many perennial rivers. Now, you must have heard of Chinese pilgrims Fa Hen and Huen Sang. Well, these Chinese pilgrims are actually Buddhist monks who travel to India to explore more about Buddhism. Now, can you tell me how did they enter India? Well, these Chinese pilgrims entered India through many formidable passes present in the Himalayan region or in the northern mountains. This is to say that the northern mountains is not continuous, rather it is discontinuous and broken at several paces by the passes. Now, what is a pass? A pass simply refers to a break or a gap between the mountain ranges or in a hilly rugged terrain. Now, a pass is formed when a glacier or a stream erodes away the land between two mountain ranges. So, a pass is simply a break between two hills. Well, in this picture, we can see that there is a gap between two hills. So, this gap is a pass. Now, due to the presence of these passes in the Himalayan region, the Himalayas have played an important role in exchange of art, science and culture between India and rest of the world. Now, some of the important passes of the Himalayan region are Zojila Pass, Shipkila Pass, Rotang Pass, Nathula Pass and Bomdila Pass. 
so these are some of the important passes of the himalayan region now let us discuss about other importance of the northern mountains or of the himalayas well apart from acting as the natural border of india the himalayas protect the country from cold chilly winds coming from the siberian region towards the central asia well these winds cannot enter india because of the presence of the giant himalayas that stands as a shield and block the flow of these winds so himalayas block the cold winds coming from the siberian region and thereby keep india warm so the himalayas save india from bitter cold during the winter months well another importance of the himalayas or the northern mountains is that they act as a climatic barrier and play an important role in defining rainfall pattern in india this is to say that they obstruct the moisture laden winds coming from the arabian sea and bay of bengal these winds eventually shed heavy moisture in india after striking the giant himalayas so the himalayas intercept the monsoon winds and cause heavy rainfall in india thus we see that the northern mountains or the himalayas have a significant influence on the indian climate the northern mountains offer several beautiful sites of waterfall now in this hilly region the water falls from a great height along the steep slopes of a mountain in fact the stream runs down very swiftly along this slope and give rise to numerous waterfalls now since waterfalls from a great height they have the potential of generating hydro energy or hydro electricity so at these places dams are constructed in order to harness hydro electricity or hydro power now can you name the largest dam in india well india's tallest and largest hydro electric power plant is situated in the state of uttarakhand and its name is tehri dam so tehri dam which is located in uttarakhand has an altitude of 260 meter approximately now on being located at such a high altitude tehri dam is the highest or tallest dam in india this tehri dam produces large amount of hydro electricity and is also a major tourist attraction of uttarakhand now before proceeding with our lesson let us try to answer this objective tehri dam is located in the state of and the options given are uttar pradesh assam himachal pradesh or uttarakhand well you can't remember we just read that tehri dam which is the tallest dam of india is located in the state of uttarakhand so the correct option will be uttarakhand now let's continue with our lesson we know the himalayan region contains some alluring lush green valleys one such mesmerizing intermountain valley is the kashmir valley which is a part of the greater himalayas or the himadri range during winter this kashmir valley takes a white tone as it gets covered in soft snow and during summer the snow melts and give rise to many small stream also the flowers bloom in the meadows and it resembles an artistic canvas now the kashmir valley is a major tourist attraction of india we all have a dream of riding in the beautiful house boats of the dal lake which is a part of kashmir valley now apart from the kashmir valley other beautiful hill stations of the himalayan region or of the northern mountains are darjeeling shimla dalhousie mussoorie nainital and manali 
So we find that the northern mountains or the Himalayas are the hot spot of tourism because of their enchanting beauty and pleasant cool climate. The Himalayan region is also rich in flora or forest wealth. Rhododendrons are commonly found in the Himalayas, especially in the wetter parts of the Himalaya. Also, saffron that is widely used as a spice to flavor and enhance the taste of any Indian dishes is cultivated in the Himalayan region. Well, the saffron is also known as Kesar in India. Also, many timber producing plants like pine, oak, etc. grow in the forest of the Himalayan region. Also, Brahmakamal, an important medicinal plant that is used to treat fever, is found in the Himalayan region. Thus, we find that the Himalayas are indeed very rich in flora. So in today's lesson, we mainly focused on the importance of northern mountains. The northern mountains are indeed very significant or important for every Indians. These northern mountains act as a climatic barrier and have a significant influence on the Indian climate. They primarily obstruct the cold chilly winds coming from the Siberian region and they also cause rainfall in India by blocking the monsoon winds. Another importance of the northern mountains is that they are very important for the flourishment of tourism industry in India because many beautiful hill stations and tourist spots are located in the northern mountains. The northern mountains is also an important source of renewable energy and it provides us with hydroelectricity. Also, because of its location, the northern mountains acts as the natural border of India, separating the country from its neighboring nations. Thus, the northern mountains helps in defense purpose because most of the army camps are located in the northern mountains. The northern mountains also contain some valuable plants like Brahmakamal, saffron, pine, rhododendron, etc. Now, as we know, the northern mountains contains numerous large glaciers. These glaciers melt and give rise to many perennial rivers. So, the northern mountains are also the source of many perennial rivers. So, these are the various importance of northern mountains and we find that this particular physical feature or physiographic division of India is very important for the country because of several reasons. In our next lesson, we shall be focusing on another major physical division of India that is the northern plains. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now